Hi everybody, so here is my Straton arrived. Uh, this is Straton Speciale Automatic. Uh, it is uh, from the Kickstarter, finally arrived. Actually arrived a few days ago, but I didn't have time to open it. So I will open it now. This is more, this will be just quick uh, unboxing and quick review. Actually to see, because I, I didn't, ha didn't have chance to have this watch in live yet, so I bought it. Uh, I, I've pledged for the on the Kickstarter, and here it is. So, uh, well, I will start opening as I talk, so we shouldn't have too long. Well, this is something. Okay, so I'm really waiting for this one because I. When I saw it, I said, okay, this is really nice, nice watch. And uh, inside, there is a two version of this watch um, regarding the movements inside. Uh, one version is um, Mecha Quartz from Seiko, VH63, just give me a second, no, 67, sorry, uh, VH60, uh, VK, sorry, I'm, I'm mixing all the movements now. Uh, Mega Quartz VK67, that, is, that was the one option of the movement inside, and the second option was, um, yeah, this is my pledge number, number 33, uh, the other option was uh, Vajou 7550, which actually I choose, um, it's mechanical, very known movement, chronograph movement, it's ETA movement, basically. Um, so, let me see what I received. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, there's a few goodies inside, and there's the watch. So, let's first check the watch. And it's a look, it's a look gorgeous, I must say. But Let's take it out. So there's many options. Um, okay, there's a regarding the case. There was a, I think three options. No, yeah, three options. One option is polished, like this one. I took the polished one. Uh, the second option was uh, brushed or sunblast, more sunblast. And third option was uh, actually black DLC. But all of these cases are actually uh, coated, DLC coated, uh, polished and brushed version uh, are just um, clear coated with DLC st uh, technology, uh, so it's really, really uh, scratch resistance. And black one is just black coated and just, I'm, I'll take down the stickers. Uh, and there is the five version of the dial color. I choose this blue one and it's sunburst blue with orange uh, hands or tip of the hands. It's somehow I think it is the best one. Also the automatic version with Valju have day and date complication but on VK67 there is no uh, any complication just uh, chrono is everything is almost the same just it doesn't have uh, day and date complication and this watch look beautiful so let me see it's uh, 100 meter water resistance the crown is screw in out type. Oh, it's just I'll start. Winding. It's really nice. I will try. I hope you can hear this. Okay, here is the time second start moving it's a high bit movement so it's a 28,800 bits per hour and 
let me check. Just to check where I am in day. Because I never ever change the date between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. Okay, so right now it's somewhere around 11 here at my place, but I will not do that now. I will just put it to be safe. And yeah, let's see. Counterclockwise, you are moving day complication. And clockwise, you are moving date complication. And today at my place is actually 19 of July, so it should be, yeah, just time is not right, but that doesn't matter now. The crown is really nice, you see, always down like gear, and on top is the nice logo. So, yeah, it's pure mechanical. You really need to push it. And now you can see how nicely second hand moves regarding the high beat. And this is reset and you really need, yeah, there is a, just sounds like two position. Okay, let me let, let this run. So, is there any other plastic? No, that's it. You see it's a double doom. It, it's quite easily, you can see it's double doom uh, regarding the distortion this crystal, sapphire crystal gives. It's really nice. I, I like that. I, I really like when it's go distortion, in, in distortion like this. And on the back case is screw in, and there is a well, it's quite obvious. So, this is the speedometer, and it's a special. And this is the speedometer numbers. And on the side, it says uh, 10 atmosphere water resistance, so that is 100 meter. Straton, Straton watch company. And yeah, there is a Valjou 7750. What did I say in the beginning? 75? No, it's it's 7750 Valjou. And there is no other inscription on the case. And it's really nice. It's 70s design, TV design, I like to call it TV design. It's really nice. The strap, this strap is leather one, really style and let me see oh well it's i will not say it's long enough but long enough enough for to go over the holding strap so this is my new watch uh, okay and I really like it. I really like this one. It's different. I have nothing similar, actually, to be honest. I have nothing similar in my modest, modest collection. I have, well, more than few, let's say more than few watches in my collection, but I have nothing similar. So that is the watch. And let's check the box, what we have in the box. And after that we will measure the watch, but let's see what we have. So, short manual, this is for VK67 moment, what, how and where, time set is done. And then there is for the Valjou 7750. So everything is in, small one, well it's, it's okay. 
Secondly, we have tool for the strap change or bracelet change. Let me see. So this is the round tip and this is the fork tip. Let's see. This is the fork tip. This is the round tip. Okay, so we have that. Then I order this bracelet too. Oh, it's, it's looking nice. It's really looking nice. And I think this is the best of the well. Oh, I like it. I like it even more than the leather strap. I will try this later. So I have that. Then we have another leather strap. So there is the options. And then as the last, yeah, nothing else inside. It's empty. So that's it. Nothing else. We have double nato. And that should be okay. And this. I think that's really nice. And of course on the buckle we have Stratton inscription inside. The buckle is brushed, but it's it's nice, nice buckle. Let's see, and the leather is nice, soft. It's a quality. I will say that is the usual quality. There is nothing on the strap saying no description but it's okay so that is what I got from my uh, Kickstarter pledge and now let's check the measurement of the watch one quick my usual stuff so the thickness of the everything overall is I will say 16 millimeters uh, Wideness watch is 42 millimeters by 41 millimeter, and regarding the between lock to lock, that is 37 millimeters, between locks is 22 millimeters, or we can measure it like this. 22 millimeters okay now let's see how is how heavy it is as this with two straps with the leather strap is 118 grams and leather strap are 15 grams so that is real light 108 So that is 103 grams. Let's say 100 grams is just the watch. And with the bracelet, the weight of the watch will be 100, 200 grams. So even with the bracelet, it's not over 200 grams. So it's not too heavy. It's a really nice one and I like it. I really like this one. Okay, so this was a quick unboxing review. Uh, I can I can talk about this moment inside a lot, but it's not the point. Point is just for you to see um, the watch, what you have, what you can have. Uh, there is, a, as I said, five uh, dial uh, color option. It go from blue uh, black, green, um, uh, brown, and I miss one. Blue, black, green, brown, and uh, black again, but in DLC black uh, case. So it's it's uh, 
Yeah, that is the five options actually. And plus you can get uh, three options of case. This is polished one. You can have it sunblasted or black DLC coated. And all cases are, which I really like and prefer and it will be nice to see in all watches in future. Uh, it's DLC, uh, clear DLC coating applied on the, on, on the case. So it's, it's really nice to have that. Okay, that's it. Uh, any question, please ask down there uh, in comment section. If you like it, give me thumbs up, subscribe. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much. Happy watch, uh, watch, uh, <laughs> happy watch hunt uh, to all of you. And uh, greetings from me. My name is Davor, and this is my unboxing and review of Straton Speciale Automatic. Thank you, and bye-bye.